When alcoholics say they bleed out, this is what they mean. So I was sitting in my couch in my gym and I threw up red cherry blood everywhere, just projectile. And that was from what is called an esophageal varicy. And I had about uh, 30 minutes to get to the hospital. And I got there and I was able to get my first blood transfusion because usually when you have an esophageal varicy and it, it explodes or it pops or bleeds, you bleed to death. And that's what happened to me. My heart rate got, I felt like it was over 200. I started turning blue. I, I couldn't breathe. I, I was bleeding to death. And I felt very dizzy. I felt spacey. I felt calm. Uh, I felt like my son was losing his dad. And um, then I was in the hospital in and out for about 30 days. I had, I believe, six blood transfusions. And I'm six foot three usually 210, I was down to about 155, 156. And it took me about a year to rebuild my health, especially with anemia. I was anemic, I had cold intolerance. A lot of alcoholics deal with anemia because we're, we're bleeding a little bit internally from either uh, peptic ulcers or gastritis. And then we have the esophageal varicy that bleeds out a lot. So we're bleeding a little bit or we're bleeding out a lot. But regardless, if you're drinking a fifth to a handle a day or 24 beers or 14 beers, you're probably doing some bleeding later on at the late stage of this. And that's why you feel you might look pale, sickly all the time. Your nails may not be pink. If you, if you take your eyelids down, the doctor told me to drop my eyelid and look at the bottom and see if it's red or pale. And it was pale. And I knew I was dying.